It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Historic Lambeau Field, fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Green Bay Packers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. and we're underway from Lambeau. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And boys, he got the full package. Loves the game, big time arm, 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. On second down, here's Fields. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemia St. Brown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. They'll run. This is Khalil Herbert. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That's a very nice game there, a confidence building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. On first down, right back to Herbert. And fights through one man. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Second and five. Fields now to throw. D.J. Moore, and this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 36. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. 
That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Here's Fields. Lewis has it to tight end. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and 10, it's Herbert. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Holding offense. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Herbert powering up the middle. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big-time play. And behind the chain, second and 13. A play fake, now fields to throw. Touchdown, Bears! D.J. Moore, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bears have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at about the 32. On play action, they'll throw. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. Here's a second and five, as they've got it as we resume action. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. 
Now an option play on second down. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. On third down, Love setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 13 yards, first down, Packers. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the pass all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Jordan Love ready on first down here. That's complete to Dobbs. We'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Love looking to throw it. That's complete to Ricks. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Again, it's Love. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They should put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Love. That is caught. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Complete to Jones. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Love from the gun. And he is out of bounds here. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Him and it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. And his kick is right there. It's 
that's good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it, the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Now Herbert to start the drive. Fighting it off. Pushes past him. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Final shot before the break. Fields. They'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. set to get the football first and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action ready for the third quarter Nixon elects not to return it and this comes out to the 25 with the Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter as they begin their second half here Charles offensively you know not where they want to be obviously they're losing in this ball game but very much within striking distance we'll see what adjustments they make in the second half is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? And which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there's going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually have nothing going in the ground game in that first half. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Love with a give to Dillon. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. 
Four receivers now in the formation. Three to the left, one to the right on second and seven. Play action this time with Love. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Reed. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 15-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. That's hauled in by Musgrave for the Packer touchdown. Packers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. So, Charles, they had him double covered in the end zone. It still was not enough. I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now, two didn't work. Do we go for three guys on him next time? Because he fought through all that extra attention, got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage and throw it his way. What a big-time play right there, both by the quarterback trusting him and by him going up and getting it. Touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 52 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Defensively, they were in the 3-4, and that O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with the verbal telestrator here, because that D-line has a nose over the center, and it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bubble inside. But they sprint upfield, kick on the inside linebackers. If the back hits it fast enough, there should be space to run. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Or they run the option on second down. Wiggles free. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Hand off right side for Herbert. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and seven. Back now at Lambeau. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down.
Now Fields. He's going to look deep for more. And he backs it away and falls down incomplete. Just because you got the man to throw it, it doesn't mean you have to throw it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them need up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. A well-executed 22-yard game. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching in Atlanta, our apologies. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Here's Love. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. They certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here comes third in the length of the football. Here's Love. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Second down, it's Jones. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Down to a knee goes Love, and that should be the final act of this football game. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair, low scoring, 
but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I get up. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you said baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great, convincing performance. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.